हेलो गाइस गाइस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ कॉन्करेंसी तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस कॉन्करेंसी लिटिल बिट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द व्हाट इज कॉन्करेंसी बट सपोज वी विल डिस्कस कॉन्करेंसी अगेन हियर सो सी इन कॉन्करेंसी वी हैव टू और मोर ट्रांजैक्शन एंड वी वांट टू एग्जीक्यूट देयर इंस्ट्रक्शंस साइमल्टेनियसली देन वी विल से इट इज कॉन्करेंसी दैट मींस सपोज अ T1 consists transaction T1 consists three instruction T2 consists four instruction and T3 consists two instruction okay guys and we want to execute some portion of this transaction simultaneously then we will say it is a concurrency concept like suppose we have first we uh, we at the time of T1 we provide resources to transaction T2 then provide T2 then in time T2 we provide resources to T1 at time t3 we provide resources to transaction 3t that is for the write operation for the read operation so in this way the small portion the small portion get executed in a different time slot so we will say that it is a concurrency okay guys so but uh, but in the serial way let's suppose if we want to execute then in a serial way okay serial transaction we will say then we what we will say let's suppose we want to execute t3 first okay so it will do first this operation then this operation when this operation is done then we will uh, then we will allot resources to another transaction let's suppose we will give resources to t1 or number t1 comes here so when this starts and end up with this r when this instruction got executed then the number of t2 will come okay guys then after executing this one t2 will come so this will be the order maybe another order but this is a serial way of executing the transaction but in the concurrency the small portion get executed we switch cp from one transaction to another then to another and provide resources to every transaction but in the this way we execute full all the instruction of the transaction then provide resources to the another transaction okay guys so let uh, our advantages of let discuss the advantages of concurrency first of all resource utilization suppose we have a computer and computer consists cpu input output devices disk printer many things are there so let's suppose if this transaction r okay want to use cpu but this transaction r required the input output devices so there is no need to wait this transaction for completing the whole transaction or this transaction so we provide the see uh, input output devices to this transaction so the small portion of this transaction gets started and executing first okay guys so this, that's that's why we can say the resource utilization increases here because this transaction no need for waiting here and it will have that resources which are free right now so that increases the resource utilization after that improved throughput throughput means more number of or number of transaction executed or completed in a particular time slot so if small portion of this executed small portion of this executed small portion of this executed that in this way the more transaction or more instruction will be executed and somehow some transaction get started executing or completing first so there is no need for somebody uh, to wait this transaction to wait for this resources or wait for this small portion small portion of instruction or a small portion of transaction get executed side by side or we can say the switching of the cpu is here so which helps in improving the throughput of the transaction next is reduced response time response times is that the less time is needed for completing the transaction response time is that when we have submitted a transaction or request for the cpu and the time for a uh, time it takes for completing its transaction that is a commit state then we will say that it is exactly the response time so it will there is a less this uh, there is a less response time for a transaction because because of the small small and the small transactions a small portion of the transaction that is statement get executed so somehow a uh, transaction has to wait less for the other resources here reduce waiting time transaction has to wait less for the getting resources here suppose we some uh, transactions are small some transactions are big so here waiting time says that when we have submitting the transaction and the first response when it gets it's the time of waiting so for due to the small a uh, small part of the transaction get executed this transaction get uh, resources 
in the second time slot suppose if you go over the serial wise okay if you go to the serial wise when these two instruction get executed then the number of this transaction come but due to the small portion of the transaction get executed so it will get the resources early as per the in the serial transaction so in the that's why the we will say that the reduce the waiting time okay guys so this is all about the advantages of concurrency but in the next video we will see the disadvantages of using the concurrency thus this serial transactions provide us consistency consistency but these are for the disadvantages of serial transaction but concurrency provides all us that these four advantages but there are some disadvantages of concurrency sometimes it provides consistency as well but there are more more and more disadvantages we will see in the next video okay guys so get ready for the next video where we will study the disadvantages of using the concurrency okay we are concurrent transaction if the guys my videos are helping you to please like and share this video and subscribe the channel please don't forget to follow the playlist of this subject okay link is under the description of this video thank you and take care guys